Hello guys, Swaroop here. Welcome back. So in this uh, tutorial, we will learn about the Playwright Smart Locators with the Selector Sub. Uh, so recently, multi-language support is added into the Selector Sub tool uh, for the JavaScript, TypeScript programming language, Java programming language, and Python programming language. So earlier, I have created one tutorial video on uh, Playwright Smart Locators with Selector Sub. Uh, this is a 21-minute tutorial where uh, I explained all the different uh, Playwright locator features like uh, how it supports the shadow dome, iframes, and other other things. So you can go through this video. So I'll share the video link in the description. So uh, I have shared some feedback to the selector sub creator. So Sanjay Kumar is the creator for selector sub, and uh, I shared the feedback like uh, whatever locators are getting generated uh, for the playwright, uh, these are only capable for uh, JavaScript and TypeScript. So he took the feedback and uh, now he has added the feature for uh, JavaScript TypeScript, which is the default language in the Playwright. And uh, Java and Python are the new options added. So in this dropdown, you can select whatever programming language you need and uh, you can able to inspect the locator. Suppose I want to find the Java locators. So I can inspect those particular elements and the syntax, whatever you are getting, the page dot get by role, page dot get by text everything will come in the language specific syntax so if in case of python the method is slightly different suppose i am inspecting the element you can see get underscore by underscore text this is the syntax for python so you cannot directly copy paste one language syntax into another language so if you see java it is in a different syntax so java will have everything in the double quotes so sanjay kumar has updated the selector sub with the latest version which is supporting the multi-language support so previously this support is not there based on the user feedback like we are the users right so playwright users feedback he has considered and uh, and he added the the multi-language support which is very helpful feature so in 5.5.6 uh, this video tutorial i have created the previous tutorial this video link i will share in the description you can go through this is a quick 20 minute video and uh, this video will be also very short. So we will discuss the multi-language support. Also the playwright coding in the Eclipse editor, I will show you some example. So it is simple, like uh, similar to the Selenium coding, you can also write the playwright coding. So I'll help you get started with the playwright coding also. So suppose you have an older version of Selector Sub in your uh, Chrome browser. So if you go to the extensions here, so if I click on the extensions option, manage extensions, and uh, let me close the selector sub. So you can see all the extensions that are installed in the Chrome browser, you can see here. So suppose you want to upgrade these uh, extensions, right? By default, the extensions will get auto updated uh, once you restart your browser or uh, the next day automatically, most of the time, these extensions will get updated to the latest versions. Uh, suppose you want to forcefully update your extension to the latest version. So first of all, go to this extensions option in the Chrome and click on manage extensions. Then this Chrome colon double slash extension, this tab will come in the browser. And then you can click on the developer mode. So you need to enable this toggle. So click on the toggle, enable the developer mode. Then you can see what is the version that you currently have. So previously, the video tutorial I have created, this tutorial is on 5.5.6. So in the 5.5.7, right now I have already upgraded. In case you have an older version, what you need to do? Turn on the developer mode and click on update. So once you click on update, extensions will get updated automatically. Only when the developer mode is on. So even if the developer mode is not on, uh, if you close the browser and uh, open it one more time in the next day or something, it will auto update most of the times. If you for want to force update, uh, you can uh, turn on the developer mode and click on update. And then you can turn off the developer mode again. And then you can start using these uh, extensions, which will have the latest version and latest features. So right now I want to use the selector sub with the latest features. So i can open the selector sub uh, playwright tab so standard locators we know like uh, it will uh, support css selector xpath and id and uh, absolute and so many other uh, properties and playwright locators are something which are very unique to the playwright uh, tool 
so here the multi language support is there javascript typescript java python so we can use uh, all these uh, different language support and uh, try to inspect the locators suppose i want to find for uh, javascript typescript then you can uh, after selecting the language you can uh, click on the inspect and whatever locator you want you can inspect that and it will give the different possibilities get by role get by text and uh, locator all these possibilities for the javascript typescript syntax and in case i need java you can select java in the drop down and then inspect this one more time so now it will give this join my community button in the java syntax so in the java syntax everything will be in the string format in the double quotes so previously in the previous session it didn't work for us so we have manually put the double quote now the double quote is coming up automatically because the language specific syntax they are providing now directly in the selector sub tool and uh, coming to the python the syntax will be slightly different if you see get by text now i am selecting python and inspect one more time so the syntax for python is the method is slightly different get underscore by underscore text so uh, you cannot directly copy paste a python code into a java code right so the syntax will be slightly different so based upon your preferred programming language whenever you are writing the playwright locators you can select the preferred programming language and then inspect those locators suppose uh, i want to click on this cart option so i can click on it uh, after selecting the programming language inspect those locator and you you are getting it in the javascript typescript syntax so it is coming in the single quote now if i want to select java and inspect one more time suppose inspect one more time this one you can see it in the double quote right so it is coming in the string format double quote is nothing but a string format in the java programming so if you see in the python it will be slightly different it will come as get underscore by underscore text the method syntax is slightly different so if you want to directly copy paste this uh, particular text into your code it will not directly work so you just need to select the preferred programming language and then you can start inspecting the locators and then you can uh, directly paste in your uh, project so now i want to show you the coding for uh, playwright java so what i have done i have taken a simple maven project here i created a playwright locators maven project and in the pom.xml file i have uh, added the playwright dependency so you can go to the mvn repository.com and search for the playwright and playwright dependency will be there so the maven dependency for the playwright i just added so this is the latest version of the playwright so you just need to save it and uh, all the required uh, playwright libraries will be coming into this maven dependency so you can see playwright 1.57.0 and uh, some other required uh, libraries for playwright will get downloaded into the maven dependency so i have taken the jdk 21 in this project so that is fine first of all you need to create a playwright object and then playwright dot create this is the step you have to do so the create will be returning a playwright object and using the playwright object you need to either use whatever browser you want suppose you want the chrome browser chromium you need to use and firefox and uh, for safari the webkit engine we need to use webkit instead of firefox suppose you need a safari browser engine so in the playwright it will not directly launch the actual browser it will only launch the browser engine so webkit is the backend engine for the safari browser so for firefox it is firefox only firefox engine will be launched when you put firefox here and if you need chromium browser chrome browser you need to put chromium here so this is the syntax and then launch you have to use and it will create a browser object so using the browser you need to create a page and then you can navigate to the required url and i am printing the title of it so since i already executed uh, this code already so some temporary files have already stored into this uh, my user folder in the c users sarup nadella folder app data local ms playwright though this will be created only after you run your code at least once for the playwright automation in the java or other programming languages so this chromium and uh, firefox and webkit all these files will come uh, only after you execute the code either in the java programming or other programming languages once you execute the playwright code then only the files will get downloaded into your local 
so i have written the simple code and uh, since i already have executed this so these files are already downloaded and uh, let me run it run as java application so it will take few seconds to execute and uh, the title of this website will be coming in the console so since i am printing it on the console it will uh, come up so just wait for a few seconds so you can see swarup nadal academy so software testing and automation and uh, you may think like the browser is not launched right so play rate automation by default everything will happen in the headless mode so in the background everything will happen and in case you want the browser also to be launched you need to pass the browser type as headless false uh, inside the launch method so you just need to put new browser type dot launch options dot set headless false you have to pass if you put false then only the browser ui will be launched in your screen previously the browser ui did not launch and you have only seen the output in the console so now if i put this particular statement inside the launch method we need to put this statement new browser type launch options set headless false by default it will be true that is the reason headless means uh, without any ui the execution will happen in the background so now i am setting the headless as false there will be a ui launched whenever the execution happens so this is the headed mode so if i execute this code the browser will be opened uh, and you can see that window so you can see here uh, this website is uh, loaded academy website let me maximize it manually and you can see this is opening a chrome uh, for testing browser so previously the chromium engine used to be used uh, inside the chromium uh, whenever you, we use the chromium uh, previously the older versions of playrate used to launch the chromium browser engine but recently they have changed one thing like chrome for testing browser they introduced it so chrome for testing is a browser which is uh, maintained by the chromium team which is useful for the automation testing purpose so the auto update of this browser will not happen every 6 weeks the auto updates will happen for the chrome browsers uh, which are the production version so this is the production version of chrome but chrome for testing is something which will not happen or update automatically so if you go inside the chromium uh, 1200 so ms play rate chromium 1200 if you go to this chrome win 64 you can see chrome is there and a t symbol is there on the logo so t is nothing but chrome for testing so the file description you can see google chrome for testing so previously the chromium engine used to be there and they recently replaced this with the chrome for testing so this is a chrome for testing is a testing browser so which is the same like uh, the chromium engine only only thing the auto updates will not happen for this browser so i also created some uh, tutorials on uh, chrome for testing you can also refer those videos in the selenium playlist so join my community get by text is coming so let's go back to this and close this previous browser window and uh, after loading the website i want to go to this join my community button and i want to click on it so once i click on it what exactly happens so if i click on join my community login to swarup nadella continue with google continue with gmail sign up options are coming so this option should be coming whenever uh, i am doing the click operation so uh, here selector sub we are using to find the locator right so whatever locator you want uh, you can quickly find out using the selector sub whenever you are working in the companies so if you are daily writing hundreds of locator it will be very tedious so at that time you can simply use this uh, selector sub tool and select the preferred programming language and it will give you all the locator that you need so you can see this is the menu option this is the burger menu so whenever uh, i am opening the selector sub it is opening like a mobile window so this is a short window right mobile window and this is a burger menu so menu is coming so i am uh, using this locator which is inside the double code this is the java programming language and it is going to click operation it will do so the title we can print before clicking itself so i'll print the title before doing the click operation and let's save it and run as java application
So the browser is launched, the academy website is loading and it has already clicked on it and you can see login to Swarup Nadilla. So the locator, whatever we point using the selector sub is working and uh, the title of this website is printed. So this is fine. So in case you want to test it for Firefox, you can put Firefox here and rerun it one more time. Run as Java application. So the Firefox engine will be launched. The actual Firefox browser will not launch in the Playwright automation. It will launch the Firefox browser engine, which is the backend engine for the actual browser. So this is the Firefox engine and it do not have any logo. If you observe here, there is no logo for the Firefox engine. So it is a nightly build. If you put the cursor, it is saying nightly build, right? So it is a nightly installer build coming from the Firefox team. So Playwright uh, is taking the nightly backend engine and uh, it is using for the automation. So it has clicked on it and you can see this login window. Now, in case you want to try it out for the WebKit also, WebKit is the backend engine for the Safari browser. So let me close this Saf Firefox and I'm uh, executing for WebKit. So WebKit is also something which is the backend engine for Safari browser. So you can see Swarup Nadella Academy and then it is clicking on login, right? That's why it's going to the login and WebKit is coming in the bracket if you observe here. So this is the WebKit and uh, if I click on the back window just uh, to check like Swarup Nadella Academy, WebKit is coming, right? So WebKit is the engine for the Safari browser. And if I click, this is the actual click operation that's already happened and uh, the Academy website is also loaded. So <clears throat> to add on few more things like uh, initially whenever you are uh, executing the playwright automation for the first time even this ms playwright folder will not be there and uh, uh, there will be some files which will get downloaded into your local like this chromium browser engine and the chromium headless browser engine and then the firefox browser engine webkit browser engine so all these browser engines will be downloaded into your local so try out this multi-language support, which is a very helpful feature from the selector sub tool. So you can try it with whatever programming language that you need. Suppose you are uh, doing it for JavaScript, TypeScript, Java language or Python. Whichever programming language, you can simply try it out. Thank you.